The airspace of mainland France and Corsica covers one million square kilometers. This is one of the biggest airspaces in Europe and also one of the busiest in the world. Aircraft with very different performance use the same airspace. Commercial aircraft, business aircraft, general aviation, helicopters and military fighter jets. Europe's leading air navigation service provider, with nearly 3 million controlled flights per year, DSNA makes efforts to offer a high quality of service for all its users, flight safety being its core activity. DSNA operates five en route control centers that handle aircraft beyond 5,000 meters of altitude. The lower airspace is handled by nine mainland regional structures, SNA, with local and regional competencies. They provide approach control services and aerodrome control services on many aerodromes. DSNA also operates in French overseas departments and collectivities. French West Indies, French Guyana, Saint-Pierre et Miquelon, Indian Ocean, LA Reunion and Mayotte, and Pacific Overseas Territories, French Polynesia, New Caledonia, and Wallace and Futuna. The Overseas Air Navigation Services employ 600 staff. Air transport is the safest means of transport, and that's not by chance. DSNA provides air navigation services, air traffic control, flight information, and alert services. DSNA delivers communication, navigation, surveillance services, DSNA supplies, and distributes the aeronautical information required to prepare flights. These three missions have a direct link with flight safety, for which DSNA is certified by the French National Supervisory Authority. To complete its missions successfully, DSNA manages 7,700 employees. The French Air Navigation Service provider has its headquarters in Paris. DSNA is organized as follows. Headquarters. Directorate of Operations that coordinates the activities of operational units, but also departments such as CESNAC, the Central Air Navigation Systems Operations Center and SIA, the Aeronautical Information Services Department, both located in Bordeaux. A technical and innovation directorate that works on future air traffic control tools in close cooperation with needs required by the operations directorate and takes part in keeping technical equipment in operational condition. The environment is DSNA's second strategic priority after safety. DSNA makes a lot of effort to reduce the environmental impact of air navigation. Below 2,000 meters of altitude, priority is given to limit the impact of noise around airports. Before implementing a new air traffic procedure around a main airport, the favorable opinion of ACNUSA, an independent authority, is required. Above 2,000 meters of altitude, reducing gas emissions is promoted by optimizing air routes network. More direct routes mean less kerosene consumption and gas emissions. DSNA plays an essential role for the economic development of air transport. DSNA is funded by fees charged for air navigation services, mainly en route services. The largest customers for DSNA are Air France, EasyJet, Ryanair, British Airways and Lufthansa. We can note that foreign carriers count for three quarters of this income. DSNA revenue is almost 1.5 billion euros. DSNA's annual financial accounts are certified by the ministry in charge of budget. Le contrôle aérien est une activité de service public qui n'est pas soumise à la concurrence. Pour améliorer de façon continue l'efficacité de son action, la DSNA doit satisfaire à des plans de performance, l'un au niveau national et l'autre à l'échelle européenne du FABEC. Le FABEC, c'est un des piliers du ciel unique européen. Il regroupe euh, six États et leurs sept prestataires de navigation aérienne. L'objectif du FABEC, c'est de constituer un espace aérien optimisé indépendamment des frontières. FABEC, 
This new air navigation environment in the heart of Europe also involves the military authorities of these six countries. Due to its geographical position, the Fabec area is the busiest airspace in Europe and contains one of the most complex air traffic systems in the world. Most major European airports are located within the scope of Fabec. In the future, 20,000 flights will be handled per day. L'enjeu du Fabec, euh, c'est de faire un espace aérien plus sûr, plus capacitif, plus performant. Et à l'échelle du Fabec, les routes pourront être plus directes, avec des trajectoires et des niveaux de vol optimisés. Et ainsi, les compagnies aériennes pourront avoir des vols plus économiques et moins polluants. In order to help ANSPs in their target-based performance management, a technological program was launched in Europe. This highly ambitious program is unprecedented. This program in the field of air traffic management research and development called CESAR aims at modernizing the European ATM system. Improvements will concern all flight phases, such as optimization of incoming flights management to Paris Charles de Gaulle. This system of the future will integrate innovative work methods for air traffic controllers and pilots in a new generation technological environment. DSNA is actively involved in the work CESAR program. Its highly qualified personnel have a know-how in terms of studies and operational validations recognized at the international level. 2015 will see the first harmonized implementation of CESAR. This synergy on a European-wide scale is a real opportunity for major programs of DSNA, such as its co-flight program, Forflight and Erato, and CSAT programs, which aim to modernize its air traffic management system. These programs will profit from the encouraging results of CESAR validation activities and will take their place in the single European sky. The European Commission has appointed the Euro Control Agency, located in Brussels, as the manager of the European network in an effort to make the best possible use of this new airspace and air routes network for users. The building of this new air navigation environment in Europe, political, technological and economical, profoundly affects the future of DSNA. The French air navigation service provider is ready to accompany these major evolutions and to maintain its positive reputation on the European scene. In this new European environment, DSNA will continue to deliver service of high quality, competitive costs to all its operational partners and its customers.